Hello everyone, welcome to Yomi Hustle. In this short tutorial I'll talk about the game's basics and how to play. Let's go to single player first, you don't have to know anything about these rules here. Just choose two characters, I'll choose ninja and cowboy. And there are a lot of buttons everywhere on my screen. Let's start with the moves here. In the left side, these are my moves. And on the right side, these are my opponent's moves. If I clicked any one of them, let's say I choose nunchuck. The game will show me what my character will do after I lock in. But this only means that my opponent is not doing anything. If they hold and lock in, this will happen. But if they choose horizontal slash, for example, this will happen. You can see all of your opponent's moves here, so there's not going to be any surprises. You can check on each move and see what will happen exactly. Let's say this did happen. Let's say my opponent chose horizontal slash and I chose nunchuck. And we both lock in and I get hit. As you can see, now I have none of these options here anymore and my opponent can just follow it with other attacks. Why does that happen? It's something called frame advantage. Right here on the screen it says it. If you have minus frame advantage like this, which means your opponent has more frames to act compared to you. They will recover faster than you. That means they can do another move faster than you. If they choose vertical slash for example, I will need 42 frames before I can recover. But they recover much faster than that. They will have 42 frames before I am recovered so they can follow it up with anything they want. But I do have an option here. Because my burst meter is full, I can click burst which pushes them back and makes the game neutral again which means I will have no frame advantage and they will have no frame advantage either. They can choose anything they want here it's not gonna work but if they know that I'm going to burst because they can see my moves here don't forget if they predict my burst right here they can block it which just resets the combo they will continue comboing until they can't but there's another tool that can help you while you're being destroyed by your opponent. Let's say I don't have the burst. I don't have my burst meter. And they are continuing their combo. There's something called DI or directional input. When I have neutral DI, this is the trajectory my character will take. But if I change my DI like this, my character goes much higher. This is how it looks in neutral and this is how it looks when I make it high. If I go away from my opponent, my character flies much further. I can go down. You usually don't want to get close to your opponent because they can follow it up with any other attack. If you go high like this, it will be much harder for your opponent to follow you with attacks. Okay, let's talk about whiff cancels. Let's say I run into my opponent like that and they use vertical slash. If they do that, I have a reaction here and they got almost nothing. But with cancel, we'll get to that in a second. Let's say I see this and none of my attacks seem to work against it, so I will block it. But they get the option to with cancel. If I block it and they with cancel, you can see they can throw another attack instead. Because of the whiff cancel, they don't get the option for defense or movement. They can only choose an attack here. They choose vertical slash. My block does nothing here and they can hit me with it. That is how whiff cancels work. But they also use your burst meter so you can't always whiff cancel. And it is dangerous to use them because if you get comboed with no burst ready, you will lose a lot of HP. Let's talk about levels. We have both zero levels here. You can gain levels by moving towards your opponent, hitting your opponent, getting hit by your opponent, 
blocking attacks, parrying attacks, a lot of things give you levels. Here I have two levels now, which gives me the option to use super moves. For ninja we have quick slash, a super fast move that uses some of your level, let's use it right here. It quickly slashes your opponent and uses some level but not too much. Some of the other supers use a lot more meter than quick slash, like Ninja has another super called Caltrops. It uses three levels I think. I can use quick slash again and again, zero levels. Now I can't quick slash anymore. Your super moves gives you a lot bigger advantage than your normal moves. If you can use them effectively, they can lead to big combos and you dealing a lot of damage to your opponent. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you at least a little bit. I tried to go over the basics. There's a lot more to this game than just this tutorial. Um, now I understand why everyone goes with like, comment, subscribe. What else are you supposed to say at the end of a video?